Uh, let's go back to China and now talk about Taiwan. Um, President Biden has said four times now that if the that uh, the United States would come to the aid of Taiwan, um, of uh, uh, Taiwan, if that sovereign country was attacked by China. Um, but you have said that you would prefer an even clearer articulation of policy from the administration. What would you like to hear? And is it time to end the, the um, policy of strategic ambiguity when it comes to America's response to a potential Chinese invasion of Taiwan? Sure, it's, it's an important question. And I've spoken recently uh, quite extensively uh, on my opinion that we need to forego the uh, 40 plus year okay. policy of strategic ambiguity in favor of strategic clarity. By strategic clarity, I like to see uh, President Biden's commentary translated into policy. Uh, and so by that, I mean, uh, we, we owe it, I believe, to three constituencies to be clear on the question of whether the United States would defend Taiwan if the PRC forcibly tried uh, to bring Taiwan under its fold. We owe it to the Taiwanese so that they then can make the decisions that they have to make on, on uh, whether to uh, uh, upgun their military, uh, resist the PRC, or to capitulate and become part of the PRC. We owe it to the Chinese. Uh, they need to understand what we will do if they make the decision uh, to attack Taiwan. But most importantly, we need to tell the American people that we owe it to the American people whose daughters and sons are they going to do the fighting uh, if it comes to that. You know, we had uh, this uh, situation in the Cold War against the Soviet Union, and it, almost everyone bought into the idea that we would uh, have to be prepared and we might have to actually fight uh, the Soviets uh, in, on the plains of Northern Europe and, and globally. Uh, but we don't have that view uh, of Taiwan and the PRC. And I think we owe it to the American people uh, to be clear uh, on that.